Whether you're super healthy or not, there's a new trend of snacks out that are bad for everyone. Hey there, NJ, Route22.com here with a quick health tip. This, this doesn't just apply to carnivore, low carb, or keto. This is for everybody. And this is a new trend that we're seeing everywhere. It's a cauliflower based. It's like a gluten-free cauliflower based um, food snack item. There's cauliflower pizza from Oprah that's absolutely awful. Um, it, it, it's just because it has cauliflower, that means it's going to taste crappy to begin with. Because a little background here, we used to do, when we were in our infancy with the low carb, uh, cauliflower crust uh, breadsticks and, and, and pizza were a big thing for us because we made them the, the real low carb way. It was basically just like an egg or two, some mashed cauliflower and a whole lot of cheese and you baked it. It was a pain in the ass. It came out good maybe one out of ten times. I was hell bent. I tried it, I don't know, a hundred times and it, I think I got it right once, honestly. It came out perfect. I don't know what I did. I was experimenting with all sorts of almond flours and coconut. It was just such a pain in the, pain in the neck. But it was a really a, a low carb uh, meal. Um, and now, because it caught on with all the low carbers, and I suppose the big businesses also figure out a way that, hey, this is pretty profitable. I don't know how, cauliflower is really expensive. But they have all these cauliflower based products. And one is these uh, cauliflower uh, sticks I saw over at Wegmans the other day. And I, I look at the, the package and it was like, 23 grams of carbs, and I don't care about the fiber. I think they fudged those fiber numbers too. It's, it, was all, it was over 200 grams of carbs for this entire bag of, of healthy snacks. And you know those sticks, they're like addictive. It's like Andy Capp's uh, pub fries. Remember those things? You would you just shovel them in like, like a, like you're like a, like a, a wood chipper. You just eat them. And you're easily gonna, like. Kill your blood sugar with these things. So who cares if they're gluten free? Yeah, sure, they might not bloat you the way wheat does, but I mean it's the worst thing. And and they've taken this cauliflower trend and literally like bastardized it with uh, and they most of those cauliflower products have like rice flour, which is higher in carbs than corn or even wheat for that matter. Um, and let, here I'm going to bring some some props in here. Here's a bag of tortilla chips. These are uh, non-GMO, uh, mostly organic. It's uh, late July. I think you can read it. Late July. I bought these on sale uh, for my family here. I, I don't need them. It says best before February 2019. Um, no one's going to eat them because most people in my house are afraid of expiration dates. They think that if I, if you ate it on the 22nd of February, you're a-okay and if you eat it on the 24th of February you drop dead so that's this it, it just says best before it might be a little stale but it's not gonna go turn into poison triangles but anyway uh, these chips are 15 grams of carbs per serving so it the cauliflower sticks are 25 percent higher in carbs than eating regular old corn chips uh, so it, if you're going to be a snack eater, like this type of crap, okay? If you're gonna eat this and you're hell bent on, you might as well just stick with Doritos and potato chips. Those are all uh, gluten-free anyway, and they're a lot less uh, uh, blood sugar raising than, than these, these low fat um, cauliflower snacks. And that's what kills it. The more fat in it, the better, the less carbs. And, and you tend to eat less because they satiate you. So if you're, if you're hell bent on it, I don't recommend eating any of this crap to begin with. Stick with regular chips and, and get away from these healthy cauliflower imitation BS chips. And if you really want to have a good snack without harming your health whatsoever, stick with the pork rinds. Zero carbs at all. Okay. So that's my little public service announcement today. Beware of the cauliflower trend and stay away from it no matter whether you're like healthy or not.
Have a good week.